Hi, I'm Nolan Ross, a customer success manager at Sentinel One, part of the dataset team. Uh, today I want to do a video on the power queries for the group command, uh, and I want to kind of compare that with how you use the searching within our tool, um, but how you can use the power queries alongside of that. Uh, with using the group command, uh, which allows you to aggregate your log lines and calculate some statistics on them. Uh, power queries are best suited for SQL aggregation operations, and they can be used for different data manipulation routines. And I'll have an example that we can use today uh, once we get into the tool. So let's go ahead and jump in. And this is just our demo environment here using, um, yeah, demo that's got a bunch of app servers, web servers, a few AWS type things coming in. Um, but what I wanna do is jump into my search. If you'd like to follow along with our documentation here, this is a good start to go into our uh, Power Queries here. It kind of lays it out in terms of what um, commands we have and different ways that you can use them. If you scroll down, all these different functions here are very useful. Uh, if you're just starting in, jumping into using Power Queries. And so what I want to do is I got an example today I'm going to use, and I'm going to look at some Nginx access logs. So I'm going to narrow that down here. I've got the last four hours, but maybe I want to see a little bit more data. So I'm going to do 24 hours. So you've got all these log lines here that we we parse through, and um, you know we've got these facets here on the left. And so I'm going to pick one that you, know, you might have a status code that you want to look at, some 200 errors, or two errors, errors, and you can you know group on those if you'd like. Um, but today I want to look at the URI path, and basically I'm seeing here that I've got quite a bit of data and I can use this to um, see what type of errors I might have within the URI path. Uh, when you're using your Power Queries, you want to start with a filter. And so um, if I do the search, then I'm going to right click on Power Query just so it preserves the filter that I've got here. And so now I can pipe together a series of commands uh, where the output of each one gets piped to the next one. So it's really nice when you go from search to Power Queries using that nice fluid workflow. So now uh, I've got my log file here and I want to, uh, I've got all these lists of commands here today. And the group is the one that I'm gonna be focused on and kind of gives you a few different examples, gives you an idea of like what exactly you can do with the group command. And so uh, I've got this URI path actually for my example today. And so uh, let's start with something simple. I'm gonna do my pipe here and I'm going to Group the total, and I'm going to use a count by or I path, and I've got 24 hours here. I'm going to hit search, and that's just going to group um, everything here. And so what I'm doing is I've got a table here where each row is a URI path, along with the total number of log lines uh, for each of those. Let's say I want to go a step further. Uh, maybe want to add, uh, look at the statuses of a client server errors, and I want to add more columns. So what I can do is I'm going to do another command and I'm going to I need to put in a, let's see here, I need to change up a little bit here, take this off. errors equals count is greater than or equal to 400 and do a less than or equal to 499 put in my comma and then I'm going to do server errors greater than or equal to 500 and then do a less than or equal to uh, 599 by URI path. And then now I want to, let's just see what we got for that. Okay, so I've got some things here. Now I want to add another command, which is the sort. Sort by the total, and then if I wanted a limit, I could maybe limit to 10. 
And so as I run this, I'm getting two new columns and what they're doing is they're telling me the number of requests for the client errors and the server errors. Some pages are doing obviously better than others, but I'm not really seeing any client errors. Perhaps this 24 hours that I've got here, it could be a longer stretch. Maybe I haven't seen any for the last 24 hours, but not a bad thing there. But I uh, just want to call that out as there are none showing up currently. But one thing that I can do, it's very helpful, is I can you know save this search if I'd like. And then I can make this something that's just on my menu or share it with everyone. Maybe I create a dashboard and then I share it uh, with different team members. Um, I can, yep, there you go, save the dashboard. I can save this as an alert. I can also download if I'd like. And if I just want to share this and uh, with a colleague, I can do the copy link and it's going to preserve the exact time that I've run this. So just a simple example for using that group path there. So you can you know, play around with this a little bit. And uh, I definitely encourage you to look at the documentation here and go through some of the group commands that are showing. And with that, that'll conclude the video today. You can always reach out to support at dataset.com if you have any questions. Always willing to help you out with using Power Queries inside your data set account. Thanks.